Hello, this is Gene. Um, I decided to do a video today talking about consent. Um, I'm going to give you a couple, probably three stories from my life. I'm not going to put any other names out there, just things in my life that I had to deal with. Um, and if you want to, you can, at the end or in the comments, you can say whether or not uh, one was uh, consensual, uh, one was no consent. Or, or one was rape or whatever. Um, I thought long and hard about this, uh, doing this uh, video. Um, I guess I, about three or four months ago, there was something on Facebook uh, talking about um, described um, things that happened to you uh, that were, you know, sexual assault type of things from a male sp perspective, meaning that it happened to us. So I wrote some stuff on Facebook and a lot of people watched it and at that time I was started thinking about starting my YouTube channel uh, but then I had the uh, like the small stroke stroke so that kind of put me back um, but still even thinking about doing this one um, it's, it reminds me of some of the stuff and it's not like a trigger word wording or anything like that but uh, these were great places in my life and with the new laws that are yes, uh, yes means yes, and um, basically prove consent, or you basically are um, guilty of, of rape, that type of thing. So I thought I would put my stories out there, and after this is over, I'll look at it before I decide whether I want to up upload it or not. But anyway, uh, there's three different stories. These are all from me. These are all from my uh, recollection. Um, no one has been, you know, in jail or anything for this, but this is what happens. Uh, when I was young, probably about 23, 24, um, I was dating somebody. It was the first time we went out, and we went to uh, a movie together. And while we were in the movie, uh, she was very handsy on me and also doing things um, that cost... Um, an arousal in me, and I had to leave to go to the bathroom many times uh, because things were coming, you know. <laughs> so I, I had to go back and forth and back and forth, and um, I kept trying to tell her to stop, um, but at the same time I kind of liked it, but yeah, I thought it was a little too much. Um, and after the movie was over, she started telling me she couldn't go home, that she told her parents that she was going to. Um, she was someone else's house and who thought that she that they would be over there so she wanted me to you know stay with me um, now she was of age this is not like she wasn't like 16 or something she was 19 um, so uh, she went back to the dorms with me and a lot of things happened and uh, I told her you know when it seemed like that she wanted to do more I said no I, I don't do that I don't go on, on the first date, that's uh, I was basically trained differently by my mom. Um, now I think it's kind of all stupid, but um, I said I can't do it. And there were a lot of other area, other uh, things she tried to convince me, and I said no. So basically, she fell asleep, and the next thing I knew, later on, she was on top of me, um, and doing what she was doing. <laughs> Now, I cl completed, and it was fine and all that stuff, but uh, the question I have for you is, is that consent? Did I give my consent uh, that she did that? Um, we dated after that, and, you know, there was no other issues like that, but my question is, is that consent? So, that's my first scenario, uh, so in the comments. Just, uh, I'll say this is A, and you can just say yes or no, whether it's rape or consent. Uh, if you want to have something else after that, you can say what she did was rape to me, that she tried to rape me without my consent, whatever. Or maybe just put yes would mean yes, there was consent, no, it wasn't, there was no consent, or should anything happen because there was no consent. Okay, the second one, a little, later, a little later in my life, I was uh, in New York. Uh, 
and because uh, we, we just got done playing a baseball or softball um, game, and uh, uh, we were at the uh, club uh, celebrating, and this girl came up and just sat sat, sat on my my uh, lap. Didn't know who she was. Just sat down there and was like she owed me or something. And um, as the night goes on, over the next hour or so, you know, guys are like, what are you gonna do? You take her home, you know, this little pusher, the pr pressure of me to do something with her. And she's like, well, I don't have a way home. Can you just like try, to, you know, take me home? So I did because I'm a gentleman. Um, I got up to her house, and as a gentleman, I went out, way made sure there was no one in the house. And then, as soon as I did that, she turned around and locked the door. And I said, uh, I have to, you know, I can't, I gotta go. You know, and she's like, well, if you leave, I'm gonna yell. I'm gonna say you raped me or something like that. You need to stay. So, here I am. I was probably a foot taller, at least 100 pounds stronger than that woman. And I was like, <laughs> I didn't know what to do. So I stayed there and I tried to like calm her down to where she wouldn't do something like that. And about two, two hours later, I was like, look, I have to go to work the next day. Um, and she finally let me go. Uh, I think because I was trying to calm her down, I gave her my f number at work. So the next day, she was calling me like every five minutes. And there are people out there that would know this um, if they watch this, and they'll know about this incident. Now, I didn't tell them everything that happened. But I could tell you the next day at work, everybody's like, well, did you do something with her? And I'm like, I don't talk about stuff like that. And I'm like, no, I, you know, I, I don't, she's not really my type, that type of thing. And she started calling and calling. Finally, I said, you need to stop because I'm going to get in trouble. I'm in the Air Force. Shit could, shit could happen to me. So um, we're working like 12-hour shifts. And somehow she f figured out a way uh, where my address was. And... Uh, she, uh, now back then, I, you know, my last name is, is unique, so it was in, the, in a phone book, and it has your address, so it's not that hard to find, and I was in a rural area, and so um, I was at home trying to sleep. Now, in that area of, of New York, you don't really have to lock your doors, so I didn't, um, but I was asleep, and I woke up, and she was on top of me. And uh, I guess the, the word is enveloping my manhood. And um, because I guess in, in my dream, I thought it was, you know, it was kind of going on. And I, so it, I completed again and I threw her off of me and I said, get the hell out of my house and that type of thing. And she's like, oh, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And I said, well, you, whatever. So I made a couple of calls and said, if something happens, this is what happened. But I can tell you what. Uh, the replies that I got from people that I I could talk to about it, um, they kind of just laughed at me. And uh, this stuff really uh, um, angered me. And it's still today because I see things when guys try to do like a men's dinner on campus and, you know, we're, we're the ones we're saying, or the other people are saying every, every place is a, man, a, man, a man's uh, safe zone that we don't really need it. I needed something back then. I was really um, worried that something was going to happen to me after what she did the day before. Um, now, in my, in, in my, uh, you know, a favor is not as really a favor. My father, my stepfather, was diagnosed with lung cancer, so I I got to leave pretty close after that to be with him uh, in his last days, and so I never really saw her again. And I'm just worried that she might have done something to other people, um, or you know, God forbid that I have a do another uh, baby out there that I don't know about. Of course, now they'd be like 25, 26. So this that's a second scenario. Obviously, in my mind, what what happened was not consent, and uh, it was rape. And uh, the first part of it was uh, um, uh, not any, not kidnapping, but forced or something when he, she was yelling that she's going to, you know, that I, I raped her and stuff like that. So, that's the second scenario, so you can put whatever you want, it would be, 
yeah, no, you know, maybe I should have known better. Uh, I'm a man. I should be able to stop that situation. Um, you know, my my manhood was um, active, so that's my fault or whatever. I, I would like any type of can, uh, comments you can get. Uh, and the last one was almost a little bit after that um, when I moved to a different area area to be by my parents. Um, I was out partying with friends of my uh, families and <laughs> drinking a lot and uh, at someone's house, um, woke up on the ground in the house, I was so ine inebriated, and she woke up too, we looked at each other, nothing was said, uh, we went into uh, the bedroom, did what we did, No, there was no yes, no, um, just obviously there was a body, bodily um, language there, but we were both uh, drunk, absolutely drunk. Now, drunk to the point that we knew, uh, you know, we were we were not no longer falling down drunk because we woke up, but we were both drunk. So, and I did stuff with her for a while, and then, then about six eight months after that, I met my wife, and I haven't really had that issue ever again. But these are three three things in my life that were consent was not implied. Uh, no one really said yes, um, and I think that at least in one there was rape going on. Um, so that would be uh, scenario C. Uh, let me know what you think about that. Um, it's just you know this this video is just uh, it's been weighing the idea that I have to do this because uh, there are gonna be people out there who might see this. And know who it is, um, maybe. Uh, so um, I don't blame. The first one, the one at the sec, the scenario B. Um, you know, I don't even know this person, so who knows? There might be. I, I don't think she would ever get this information. But the, like I said, these are all my. Um, uh, recollections so I'm not trying to defame anybody but this is a question I have and I would like you know those who actually look at my stuff for men's issues because it, consent isn't just here's another thing that's not gen, gender specific uh, just like rape is not uh, gender specific uh, defend, domestic violence is not gender specific um, these are humans do this to each other and uh, the idea that you know everybody talks about women don't have places to go well I can tell you wait I didn't have nowhere no place to go um, whether that's cultural that the men were like well why didn't you would like to what you know um, or it, you know men you know we have we have issues with feminism I'm sure but men are not doing great things for men and a lot of times men shame each other and I can tell you, I felt like that. Um, like I said, it's fortunately or unfortunately, you know, my stepfather got cancer, and uh, and I really haven't told this to anybody. I, I did talk about the second scenario online, but some of the other stuff I haven't talked to, and I don't think my family knows any of this. So, um, so whether or not I actually upload this, I don't know. Um, it's just, you know, it's just something that uh, people need to understand that it's just not one side. Uh, so let me know in the comments below uh, if you want to, and we can have this discussion. You guys have a good day.